brother. So I just hit record. Talk to me about. I, I saw your message. Um, what are you trying to do? You in Bible school right now? Yes, sir. Okay. What are you trying to do? Uh, for college, I'm actually going for a pastoral theology major. Okay. Um, but in all honesty, I wanted to go for a uh, counseling major, but they don't have that here. Okay. So I'm having that as a minor instead. Okay. But I'm using both things, you know, for uh, my uh, ministry in the weekends and stuff like that. So. Okay. What do you want to do for a job? For a job? In all honesty, uh, I would want to find something stable, something that I really like to do. I know that I like working uh, like heavy, uh, you know, jobs, just construction and stuff like that. I used to do that when I was in uh, working in Minnesota. I'm actually from Minnesota. So uh, okay. I used to work for a, a, a farm, I used to take care of animals, used to do some little uh, jobs here and there and uh, building a little construction here and there. So stuff like that was actually keeping me really engaged and I was actually really uh, enjoying it. So I think that's something that I, I would be interested in. And if not right now, I still haven't, um, you know, gone yet, but I wouldn't mind possibly trying the, uh, uh, the military as a whole career, but I know. Okay, like, like, so, so dog, I'm just going to ask this question. Okay. Sure. Cause I got, I got crazy people that call me all the time. All right. <laughs> crazy, bat, bat shit, crazy people. Okay. You are the first dude in Bible school calling me talking about I want to pop people's heads off. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna ask you, right? Do you understand what the you you I just looked at the spreadsheet real quick to make sure I had the right young man. Right. Um yeah like, do you understand what, what the job entails? Yes sir I do. You understand there is no ministry, there's no teaching of the, the Lord's word. I say my prayers and then I go do really bad things. Yes sir I do understand that. Okay, so what's the, what's the, what's the, help me understand kind of your mindset that, that that's cool with you. My mindset, sure. I actually had this uh, conversation with my pastor as well. Because okay. uh, my, my pastor is like, you know, I, I don't believe that uh, a Christian should, um, should be in the military like at all, right? Your pastor but doesn't or you don't? My pastor doesn't. Okay. Right. But this was a while ago. This was about a few years ago. Yep. Before I graduated uh, high school. Okay. And, um, you know, I, it got me thinking. And I was like, you know, like, I wonder why why he thinks that, right? You know, in the Bible, there's a bunch of stories about, you know, people being at war. There's mm -hmm. a bunch of stories about soldiers doing many great things. There's a, yep. uh, not just, you know, for their country, but for God too, right? Yep. And so my pr thought process and all of it is, okay, well, they did it before, right? So what's the difference in it doing it now? Yep. Well, so I uh, did some study for it. And really, there's no correct answer. There's just kind of like a, a philosophy in a way you can call okay. it. Or a sense of thinking of how you can uh, look at it, right? Okay. And uh, basically, as a Christian, you're defending, right? You're not, you're not only you're defending your faith, you know, constantly, daily. You are you know, you have people that are like, Oh, well, you're doing this. Aren't you a Christian though? Or why did you say that? Aren't you aren't you supposed to be, you know, like like Christ or godly, you know, so on and so forth? I get that a lot, you know. But it's not just about that. It's like my God is an ambassador, right? I, well, I'm supposed to be an ambassador, okay? I, I'm I'm the one representing God. And for me, if someone were gonna if someone is going to ask me, uh, why are you wanting to be in the military? Or why are you, are you wanting to do, you know, do these specific types of jobs? It's the mentality I have is like they're asking me why or should we have, you know, police officers as Christians or Christians as police officers, right? You're not only defending just the people that are inside, but you're also doing things outside of the country, right? You're not, you're not, you're not. For me, it's defending, right? And right, so let me ask you this, Cade. Okay. Sure. Do you know how dirty and grimy the job of a Navy SEAL is? Do you, do you understand? Do you, do you have a, a conceptual idea how grimy you think the job is? I do have an idea of how the job is, yes. Okay, how grimy do you think it is? I believe it does get really dirty. Okay, really dirty, right? Like, like right. really, really dirty. Right. Um, 
And so I, I asked that because, you know, you were an anomaly, right? Like you in the, you in the, you in Bible <laughs> college and you talking about you want to go be a slayer. I also know the Crusades did a lot of slaying for the cross. Right. right I know. Yeah. There's a, so, there's a whole. So I'm not, you know, I just, I, I want to have a conversation with you because I saw, you know, when you, when you, when you signed up, I'm like, man, let me call this dude and make sure I understand. Let me ask you this. What's your GPA right now? Uh, GPA for high school was for honestly college. not that good. College. For college is even worse. Um, mostly because I haven't really been able to, to actually get into my, my school and studying and stuff like that because uh, my job. Uh, I work at Panda Express. It doesn't sound like a, you know, a hard job, but it honestly kind of is, especially in where I'm working. I'm working in uh, Maryville, Indiana. Okay. It's a really busy job. I'm working from 2 to 12 most of the days, and then I have to study from whatever time, from usually like 1.20, 1.30, all the way to like 3 o'clock in the morning, and then I go to bed and wake up at 8 o'clock in the morning again just to get ready to go to class by 8, 10, you know? So it's it's just a grime. Right, with, so what, you know, what's your GPA right now? Uh, it's about 1.8, 1.6. Okay, so I'm going to tell you this. You ain't going to be in college very long. What no, year are no. you in college? I'm a sophomore, actually. Okay, so you're about to get kicked out of college here pretty quickly. Right. So do you have to work the Panda Express job to be able to go to college? I don't have to work at uh, that specific job. I was trying to find another job that would give me uh, a little bit more flexible hours with the, um, you know, better pay or something like that. Do you have, but, uh, my question is, do you have to have a job to go to college? Yes. Well, I don't have to have a job, no, but I don't have the funds to keep paying monthly uh, to not like, okay. you know what I mean? So I would just tell you, you, you don't have to buckle down and graduate from college. Okay. okay. You're only a sophomore. Right, like you, you gotta try to figure it out, but you know, you got a one six, one eight, you you're not gonna get accepted to nobody's officer program down there in the 2.0 range. Right. Okay. Um, now you could go enlist, they'll let you go enlist, but you know, I just need you, like you got two years, so there's more than enough time for you to try to figure it out. I just think there's a huge, there's a huge dichotomy between who you are, what you're doing right now. And what you're trying to go do. Right. Like I'd rather have I'd rather have some dude that just got arrested for street fighting than take <laughs> some dude out of Bible college. Right. Okay? And I'm not saying that like I'm judging you. I'm just saying like the two don't necessarily go together. So all right, but what kind of questions you got for me? Uh yeah, I actually I had a few questions. I was gonna email you a while ago. But uh, I saw a few videos where you were talking to some people and you were kind of like helping them, giving like a, a training regimen and stuff like that to help them, you know, uh, get physically ready for it. Yeah. And then I also saw a few other things where you were talking to some students as well, talking about, you know, getting their study on and uh, just making sure that you, you have time for everything that is a necessity and especially you're, you're prioritizing, right? Yeah. And so a uh, few questions was... Uh, with my schedule being kind of, you know, nitty and kind of tight on time, I was wondering what you would uh, kind of like recommend in order for me to do. Or hey, what do you think before, I, could before I blow your head up, before I get this it. machine gun up and, and just start <laughs> fucking mowing your head straight off at the, at the root, okay? What do you think I'm going to say? If you want it, just do it. That's, that's, that's kind of... no. 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 I don't know. The only thing you need to be doing right now is study. Right. Because right now you about to get kicked out of college. Okay. Right. So I, if I was you, how much how much extra money do you have a month with your Panda Express job? An extra hundred dollars, extra two hundred dollars sometimes. Right. So you bought my master class, right? Right. That's three this extra months of saving. <laughs> okay, that was most of your savings. Okay, should I refund your master class right now? So that you had that money because you don't need that. You don't need that master class right now. I'm gonna tell you right, right now, you don't need it. All right. You need to make sure you get decent grades. So as soon as we get off this, I'm gonna send that three hundred dollars back to you. Okay. I don't know That's how good. to do that, but I'll figure it out. 
because you right. don't need that master class. And I'm not taking money from a guy that got a 1.6 who's scra scraping his way through college. Okay. So right. what I want you to do, I want you to figure out how to study. Do you know how to study? Yeah. I've been uh well listen, I've been bud, doing a few listen, bud, listen, bud, you got 1.8. Okay. Do you really honestly expect me to believe that you know how to study? Well, the reason why I said yeah was because it's not necessarily just me studying, especially like lately. Uh, I've been getting a few friends and my cousin as well. She's in uh, college with me and her GPA most definitely is a lot better than mine. But she's been helping me study uh, with a lot of the classes that we have together. Mm -hmm. I know that um, we don't all have them, but with the classes that we do have together, she's helping me um, study them as well. Okay. And then I have another another friend with me. Uh, he also has a good GPA. He's keeping up a good three point something. I forgot what it was, okay. but he's helping me study as well. So I'm keeping up with him. And I'm trying to keep up with both of them at the same time while they're going okay. on job. So All right. So here's what I'm going to tell you. That's why I gave you my answer. You got to sleep. Right. And right now you're working too much. You need to be at home by 10 o'clock every night and get some sleep. Okay. Right. You can't get good grades if you're not asleep. If you're at the Naval Academy right now, you had a 1-8, your bedtime would be 9 o'clock at night. Okay. Right. So you're not sleeping enough. So you're going to have to figure out the money situation. I'm sending you the $300 back. As soon as I get off this, this Zoom, I'll send this shit back because I ain't taking your money. Because okay. right now you got a 1.6 and I'll blow your fucking head off if you call me again and that shit ain't up over 2.0. Okay? Does that make sense to you? Yes, sir. What's the What's the number one thing you got to do right now? Study. Study. That's it. What's the number two thing you got to do? Sleep. Sleep. That's it. Those are the only two fucking things you got to do. Sounds okay? good. Because right now, like, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Like, you ain't you ain't up to par right now. Okay. I got some videos on how to study on my on YouTube from talking to some, some high school girls that I was mentoring. So if you need some help, like, you can reach out. But you better be ready. Okay. Because I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to put you on an hour calendar every seven days a week. And, and I want 40 hours of study in a week. So you better figure out where you're going to cut back on that work. And stop buying stupid shit like fucking Navy SEAL Masterclass when you got a 1.6. Okay? Good. Does that yeah. make sense? Sir. Okay? Like, you got to go, bud. Like, education is the most important thing. I don't care if you're in Bible college. I don't care what you're doing. Right? It's the most important thing you can do to change your life is complete your education. All right? Yeah. Sir. Okay? What, what other questions you got? Um, That was really it. Uh, It's kind of kind of what i had in mind uh, what i wanted to ask you you know what uh -huh. your tips were and stuff like that ain't no um, tips it's called put your face against the street at 80 miles an hour and grind your face off okay you uh, got a one six or one eight like bro you're not you're not working hard enough man you're right. doing too much work buying too much other stuff what what's the other biggest purchase name the biggest purchase you've made the last two months what's the other biggest purchase uh <laughs> Fifty dollars worth of food. It was for uh, it was uh like fifty dollars worth of food in the last right. two months. Uh, I had a uh, we have programs every weekend for uh, some kids and uh, some families, right? right? And so I put in a bunch of money, well, as much as I could at the time, um, and uh, just help you know kind of raise some money for the little activity that we had for them. Okay, so here so, I'm gonna tell you, I don't want you giving money to nobody. Okay. Because every dollar you give somebody else is another hour you got to work that week, and and you can't afford to work. Right. You need to cut them hours back to like six hours a day, and then you need to go hard in the paint and get some sleep and study. Right. Okay. And that's what you got to understand, bro. You got to get your priorities right on how you're gonna be successful. Because right, right now they all messed up. Okay. Okay. All right. What else you got? Anything else? Um. No, not really. Just thank uh, you. Most definitely just taking out your time. Shoot me an email. When your grades come out? Uh, I can get them at any time, really. I'm talking about when you get, when's the semester over? Oh, in the next, like, two months. Okay, so send me your GPA when you get done. Sure thing. And at some point, I might allow you to buy the master class, but not right now. Sure thing. Okay? All right. All right, Caden, you good? Yes, sir, I'm good. Okay, let's get going, brother. All right, thank you so much for your time. All right, man, later.